Hello, my name is Diane Schuster. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you an easier way to configure the Dataflow Task Plus when you're working with SQL Server tables for both the source and the destination. This technique can be used with any other source and destination that you want to apply it to. I'll be using variables for the table names because I'll do the initial configuration using tables that only have a func column in them. This saves me time because I won't have to go in and delete all the columns and replace them with a single func column. I'll pull the names of the real source and destination tables from an Excel file. You don't have to use an Excel file, just make sure you put the real names of the tables into the variables before your package tries to execute Dataflow Task Plus. Another thing I want to point out in this demonstration is that Dataflow Task Plus can map columns just fine even when the source column names are in lowercase and the destination column names are in uppercase. All right, so here I'm in Management Studio and I'm going to show you the real source table that I want to move data from. Here you can see all the column names are just simple letters and they're all lowercase letters. Here's my real destination table and again it's just letters for column names and they're all in uppercase. And then when I initially configure the package I'm going to be pointing my variables at this as the source, and you can see all it has is a func column in it, and this is what I'll use as the destination, just for configuration purposes. And again, all it has is a func column in it. Now we'll go to Visual Studio, and I'm, I've already configured the connection managers for the database as well as the Excel file where I'll have the real names of my source and destination tables. So I'm going to drag Dataflow Task Plus onto the Control Flow Canvas. I'm going to right mouse click on that and go down to Properties and set Delay Validation to True. And now I'll go over to the Dataflow Canvas and before I go any further, I want to set up my variables. So the first one I'll call source table, and it is a string. And here I can just copy the name of the source table from a text file. Go back and paste that in. And then my other variable is going to be called dust table. And again, this is going to be a string data type. And go over to my text file again and copy the name of the destination table. Put that in as the value. And now I want to use the OLADB source component which is just a Microsoft SSIS standard component. And I'm going to be using a data access mode that pulls, uses a variable for the name of the table. And this will be the source table variable. And here you will preview. Again, all you have there is the func column. And then, of course, I'll use the OLADB destination for the destination. You can connect these. Go into the editor, and again, I use, need to have it pull the name of the table from a variable. And that variable will be dust table. And I'll go to mappings now so that the thunk column from the input column gets mapped to thunk column in the destination column. Now I'll go back to the control flow canvas and I want to enable the dynamic capabilities so I open up the editor for Dataflow Task Plus and I'll set this to enabled for the source and enabled for the destination. 
So now that's we're all configured as far as data flow task plus, but we're not pointing at the actual tables with our variables. We're pointing at those special ones that we used for setup. Now I want to show you that the real table names are in this Excel file. So here you can see the uh, the real name of the source table is right here in column one, row two, and the real name of the destination table is in column two, row two. So now I'm going to use Cozy Rock's Excel task. I'll use it twice. So the first time I'm going to get get the real source table name. And the action that I want to use is called get cell. There it is. And I point it at my Excel connection manager. And I'll put that in the source table. And again, the source is in column one, row two. And then I'll use it again for the destination table name. So I double click to open up the editor. And again, I'm going to use the get cell action. Point at the same connection manager. The result will go in the dest table variable. And this name is in column two, row two. All right, so everything should be good to go. I save the package and I execute it. And it worked. I'll stop debugging and now we'll go over to Management Studio and we'll look at what's in our actual destination table. And there you can see all the data was copied over. If you'd like to follow Cozy Rock on social media, this slide shows how to do that. Thank you for watching.